in 2011, uh, Zambia was uh, bumped up actually to a middle income country uh, alongside Ghana for a couple of factors that led to that. But now we've been dropped in, in, in our status. What do you think are some of the factors that have led to this? You know, these uh, factors are not uh, uh, different from the factors that we could actually uh, point to say of uh, some seemingly natural cause. Uh, obviously, we know that uh, last year we had the issues to do with the um, compounding effect of uh, COVID-19 and we had slow production levels and also we had a couple of other uh, you know factors that also we could actually see from there we, it was an election year mm -hmm. so a number of effects that could have actually attributed to what we are able to see so it's not a surprise it's not a something that one would also love to uh, celebrate with mm -hmm. because the year in itself was um, a year married with a lot of uh, different uh, fundamental uh, occurrences. So we, we cannot uh, celebrate in, 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 in essence, but obviously it's something that we have to um, look up and, and see how best we can uh, collect the narrative as well. Now, do you feel from 20, 2011, again, being a, uh, a very important year in this conversation, because that's when we went to a, a low middle income country from a low income country, but then do you think since 2011 it's been compounding um, leading up to a point where we'll be dropped in a status now in 2022, 11 years later? Has this been happening from that time or it's just happened in a short amount of time uh, in the past couple of years that we've been, we've been operating and trying to work on our economy? Well, if you look at the, the, the model in which our economic fundamentals have actually been working out, obviously, if you like to reflect strongly on the 2011 uh, narrative as well, uh, it was also coming from the background where we had elections as well. We had uh, some other uh, compounding cases that we could also put to, or rather draw on the table and discuss one by one. Mm -hmm. But obviously, um, with the case that has happened uh, uh, for, for, for this report, this particular report, which basically, by the way, happens every, uh, every, every year, um, each and every um, single um, uh, year, we, we all basically receive this report from the World Bank on that maybe their attention has been drawn so much yeah. to a point where we, we, we basically want to, to see what is happening. And more, more so with the reactions that actually has been uh, you know, taking place from the World Bank, the IMF. I, I think that's the more reason why we have actually drawn this attention to this level. So if you look at the narrative of 2011, the 2011 was uh, a time when we, we made a change in government. And obviously, we are also coming from the position where we had recorded a very good um, GDP during the time of yeah. Alabi up to 2011. Mm -hmm. So all those cases are actually building up from 2011 up to um, uh, last year, of which also in the last year, last regime also had its own factors to underplay with this uh, case. So what I would say is that, um, yes, uh, it could be a comparative case to, to, to look at and a very interesting uh, uh, case also to, to study mm -hmm. when you look at um, the key fundamentals that maybe triggers um, a, a good performance when it comes to the income levels per capita. Obviously, when you look at the, the way Zambia has been digitizing um, or digitizing um, its levels of um, uh, uh, standard in terms of uh, income per capita, mm -hmm. it, it brings the, 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 the case now to be a, a very attentive uh, matter of, of interest right now because obviously we are looking at it in a different perspective. The one interesting uh, part here is that um, we have a low economic uh, uh, growth pattern mm -hmm. and we've got uh, a lot of uh, things also that are taking shape positively uh, in nature. Uh, yeah. We are talking of inf inflation, mm -hmm. we're talking of um, uh, stable exchange rate, though it's got some bit of yes, issues yes. here and there, but we have also got um, a very good calm political uh, atmosphere which is so t uh, gravitating mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. obviously it's from that background also that we are <coughs> now g getting to have so much of interest into what was happening last year but obviously with the projection of 2023 i, I think the narrative will be, will be able to change mm -hmm. because we are we are able to see that um one in as far as we are getting to have this status I would be very frank to tell you that one it will it will be a recipe for us to actually have donor funding and it will be a recipe for us to have debt reconciliation mm. and few other good things that could come but of, of, of course we're looking at it from the angle where uh, when it comes to creditworthiness 
that's where we have a, a bottom big issue now mm. here. Mm. But obviously, with the 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 case of um, you know drawing every stakeholders uh, right in the center, I think it will bring a different story altogether. Will this in any way affect um, Zambia's pursuant of the IMF? Uh, deal because you've talked about uh, credit worthiness at this point. Now we've been dropped in status by the World Bank. Do you think this will affect? Um, Probably it will not affect, uh, or it may affect. But the, 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 the bottom line that now it's just going to draw a lot of attention for sort of like attention in, in the in in the areas of uh, debt reconciliation mm -hmm. and probably even accelerating. It can even bring um, uh, bring an aspect of accelerating. Uh, the, the cause of uh, IMF in this case, because obviously we are taking it from, from a perspective of um, having now recorded the lower uh, gross uh, national income uh, per capita, which actually is, is, a, is a, a very uh, big concern in this case. Mm -hmm. And if you are to look at also even the, just the key fundamentals of the economy, production. Production basically does not even speak so much when, it, when you're going in this direction. Yeah. Because obviously it also reduces the the inflow of, or the projection of FDI, uh, because obviously whoever you want to invest in, in this in this country will be able to see to say that is there enough consumption if you were to put our, our, our output there, mm. because of the status, meaning that if we have this low uh, level of uh, perception that we are now getting to have with the, the income level, it, it implies to say that production. Uh, with the, the consumption, will not be able to match. Mm -hmm. So we need now to see how best can we bring back ourselves to uh, the rating that we have always been having, uh, or rather, how best can we aim high? Because this World Bank Atlas method of trying to put ourselves in this direction also brings a lot of anxiety. Mm -hmm.